double first cousins. I had never heard that expression before until I came to High Point Baptist Church and one of the members <clears throat> talked about uh, he had a cousin uh, and they had double first cousins in their family. Uh, kind of interesting, they grew up in Mississippi. Uh, it's when two brothers marry two sisters and they have kids. Um, and those kids aren't just first cousins, they're double first cousins, both on their mom's side and on their dad's side. Um, there's a couple of words that I like to call double first cousins in the New Testament. Uh, it's the word for grace, uh, charis, and the word for thanksgiving, or the giving of thanks, which is you, charis. Uh, Efkaristo, the Greeks would say. Uh, charis and Efkaristo. Um, just a little thought today. The Vesper is just really simply this. If you have been blessed uh, by the grace of God, uh, God's blessing, God's favor, God's kindness, uh, if you are doing better than you deserve, uh, count your blessings. And so if you are a graceful saint, full of grace, for by grace are you saved through faith, uh, sufficient uh, grace of God on a daily basis, then practice the simple act of gratitude. Return thanks both, both to God and to others. Uh, even as Paul writes in his prison epistles, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. Today I'm thinking about double first cousins, grace and gratitude. Be a grateful saint because of God's grace, his blessing, and his favor that we don't deserve, we cannot earn, we cannot pay for. It is a gift, and all we need is to receive it. Be grateful. God bless you. Have a good evening.